it's in your house. And if I start leaking, I can be more than annoying. I can cause major damage. And trust me, you don't want that. Leaking pipes or low water pressure usually mean faulty and corroded pipes throughout your home. Repipe specialists can repipe your home in just a day or two, and most times at half the cost of a plumber. We'll even repair the walls and offer a lifetime guarantee. Call today to save 20% and take advantage of our no interest 12 month financing. Keenan. Hey, Keenan. Looking good. Feeling good. I just found all these cars on Auto Trader. Wow. I wait for the best part there, microwave. A dealer is going to deliver this car to our home. Never, never leave home. home. Never leave home. Legendary rapper Ice Cube shares his new music from his supergroup, Mount Westmore. Plus, your chance to see Banda MSA live at Kia Forum tomorrow. The KTLA Plus app. Get it now on Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV. Now at five, a violent scene involving a crash and deadly double shooting in one local neighborhood. We are live as police investigate. And new COVID numbers coming into our newsroom. The Good evening and welcome to the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. Hope you had a great weekend, Cher. Absolutely. Yeah, you too. Press Club. We had the LA Press Club. It was a big weekend uh, oh, for KTLA, which we'll get into really a lot was. later, but uh, excited to talk about that with yes. you. Yes. All right, let's get to our big story tonight. California gas prices set new record highs twice this year, and Governor Gavin Newsom is now taking action. He accuses the big oil companies of price gouging, and now he wants to make them pay new penalties on profits. KTLA 5 Shelby Nelson is live in Ontario with what it could mean for gas prices and your wallet. Shelby. Yeah, sure, Pedro. Right now, luckily, we are seeing gas prices go down. I mean, the perfect example is at this gas station right here in Ontario. For a gallon of regular unleaded, it's $4.99. But who could forget what happened earlier this year, uh, this year in June and October, those record prices? Now, the governor's proposal came out just this afternoon, and part of it, aside from imposing a penalty, calls to keep a more watchful eye on these oil companies and expand the Energy Commission's authority to investigate things like pricing, supply costs, contracts and inventory. It's hard to deal with it. You know, you have to kind of like either you want to survive with uh, no gas or you have to divide, put gas in. So you have to try to make it make it work as best, best as possible. Alhambra resident Bashir Rashid was in Ontario filling up his tank. It's something the t-shirt merchandising business owner has to do often traveling nonstop regardless of fluctuating gas prices. I have a van so I have to drive this too sometimes so to compensate on the gas. Like so many others, his pockets took a hit this year when gas prices were the highest they've ever been. The national average coming in at just over $5 in June. Californians bearing the brunt of those prices spending a whopping $6.44 a gallon for regular unleaded gas. We're talking about a penalty for gouging people. We're talking about people that are taking advantage of you, uh, raking in billions and billions of dollars of excess profit. Governor Newsom calling for a special legislative session at the state capitol today. He and Democratic Senator Nancy Skinner putting forth a proposal to penalize big oil so that when profits hit a certain threshold, the excess money would be returned back to drivers. This is a windfall profits cap and a price gouging penalty, and it requires that oil refiners not make over a certain amount of money per gallon that they charge in California, and that means it's not a tax which means it doesn't require a two-thirds vote. It requires a majority vote. But some state leaders don't see this plan working. The governor is using every single word except for what it is. It is a tax. This proposal only increases the cost of needed energy production in California. That is that is not what Californians want. 32nd District Assemblyman and Republican Vince Fong says this will only lead to relying on other countries for oil and at a time when the economy is weakening. Let's suspend the gas tax in California temporarily, provide immediate relief to California motorists, and we have to expand uh, gasoline supply in California, which means that we have to produce that gasoline and, the, and natural gas here. Now, the big question right now is how California lawmakers will receive the proposal, especially considering many new members who were just sworn in. The special legislative session will run alongside the normal session, session which kicks off in January, but lawmakers could move more quickly on this, so only time will tell. Reporting live in Ontario, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.
Shelby, thank you. A holiday COVID surge is sweeping through Southern California. More than 10,000 new cases and 29 deaths have been reported over the past three days in L.A. County alone. The new data is causing serious concern for health officials as hospitals begin to fill up. The surge is being fueled by the newest COVID variants labeled BQ1 and BQ11. Both are offshoots of the BA5 variant that caused a similar surge last winter. It's becoming more and more difficult to find over-the-counter flu medications. Many Southline pharmacies are running out of Tylenol, Motrin, and Advil. They found that sick people leave store shelves empty, and oftentimes they leave empty-handed and frustrated. Health experts say the drug shortage is likely due to the triple-demic trio of viruses hitting us this year, the flu, COVID, and RSV.